Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again on the forex market, uh, particularly on euro currency. So, currently guys, it's really too much politics on the financial markets, especially of course on the gold market and crude oil, you understand what is the background we have. This is the some piking conflict in the, in the Middle East between the Iran and United States and a lot of arguing and, and questions around whether this will be a real war in between these countries. Well, my suggestion is that Hardly this is possible any time soon, just because you should understand that the United States has the limited contingent of the troops in, in the Middle East, so maybe some few thousands they have. But this is Iran, guys. They, they have the troops, uh, the, the army only, it's more than more than one million people, people, more than one million troops. So it's two different weight between these uh, troops in the region and. Uh, for any war, this market has to, uh, sorry, the, the country has to create a solid background. So it should set the log logistic. It should, uh, it should uh, move the troops in the region. So we, we do not see currently the, the moves of the fleet, the moves of the additional troops there. So, well, but, but just bombing the country, you, you will not uh, win any war. So currently, guys, I, I not exclude that this could be some local pike in, in the region, so maybe some missiles uh, missiles attacks here and there, but, well, I'm, I, I don't think that it really will turn to the real uh, hot conflicts, real war, as it was in Iraq, as it was in Libya, uh, because in the current circumstances, guys, I really have big doubts that any NATO uh, countries will support the United States in this conflict. I really have some big doubts that the European countries will set their troops there. And second, we have seen what has happened in Syria. So uh, hardly on the background of the Syria conflict, the United States will be able to do something with Iran. So I think that will be some local pike in, in currently I really do not think that will turn to the real war conflict, at least currently based on the information that we see right now. Still, despite that this uh, mostly uh, verbal war that stands right now in the mass media, uh, so the major field of wars right now is the Twitter, and uh, that really things that markets likes to. Because speculators need rumors, sensations, or something that sort that make to make short-term fluctuations in the market to extract the money, to extract the profit. That's why they are talking about the war and so on. And we see the results, so we can see that's big volatility, especially in the gold market. Uh, but at the same time, the short-term impact on the market you could see by the action that that we've got. So, for example, I will show you the DAX index today. Here's market has opened. Here's where it stands right now. Yes, it has opened with a gap, but it returns it back down where it was. The same on the gold. So, uh, well, you understand what I'm talking about. So, on the, still on the on the euro currency, the same story. Uh, the, the, the demand for the safe haven X is rising the conflict. It makes pressure on the market. Besides, as you know, yesterday it was really poor numbers on the factory orders in Germany. Especially taking into consideration inter international ordering, international buying of the of the Germans' goods, and so this makes impact on on the market as well. As a result, what we've got, the market has shown the deeper reaction compared to what we talked about. Yes, we have talked about the Chad Napoli setup, but when this information starts to appear, uh, the level has been broken and market has jumped lower. Now potentially we have the bullish grabber, and market still stands above these lows which still keeps chances on the bullish scenario. The market could reverse up and continue to move higher. But currently, guys, we can't take the long position just because the trend stands bearish on the daily. So the trend has been broken. And that is a major condition for when you are considering taking the position on intraday charts. You need that major trend should hold. And here we don't have this issue. Yes, market right now stands in support. But again, 
the deep retracement here, as I said, it's not welcome. It's not a good sign because the deep retracement already has happened here. That should be upward continuation, especially when the market stands just a few pips from the OP target. That stands slightly above the market. Another deep retracement here, it's not a good sign. So if it will happen, we suggest that the action will be to the next confidence support. <clears throat> it's a 1080, 111 area. This will be next support area that could provide some uh, support of the market and where theoretically the market could try to make the upward bounce. At least here, it will be relatively easy and uh, safe trying to take the long position because at least minor balance here should happen. That should provide us tunes to take the long, uh, to move stops to the break even. Currently, guys, in the current circumstances, I think that it's better to not take any long position anymore. Uh, on the follow time frame chart, this is the pin and pattern that we talked about, and its lower body coincides with the confidence around 11.40. That's actually was the reason why the market has shown the bounce here. But you can see market totally erased the direction and dropping back to these lows. Uh, when you have this kind of the rally, guys, on the background, it's really very fast action. And then you'll see this type of action. Well, this is not good. Uh, and I do not exclude the chance that we still will get this downward action here. So currently, I'm really not risking anybody taking the long position. As a result, on the hourly chart, we also could consider this type of action. This could be ABCD passion down. Um, so OP stands 1090 approximately right inside the daily confluence. So that really could become the next target if market will take it out of the lows on the B point. What I do not like here is that market erased relatively fast and good frosting action. So this frosting action totally has been erased yesterday. And this frosting action, well, doesn't provide market power to continue our production. So that, that's really not a good sign. Maybe here we could get even the butterfly. So take a look. As we'll measure the extension, you can see that's OP, it's 111, 120 cells, so that could be the butterfly potentially. So we could get. Uh, here, as you can see, what has happened with our confidence support in re recently where we intend to go along. Yes, this real this pullback here is indeed has happened. So market has shown the pullback approximately for uh, 15, 20 pips here. This market was holding very nice until that information has appeared. And as you can see, so this collapse has happened, so market has, bro has broken the context that exists in the market by this moment. So that's what we we'll see right now on the euro. I would suggest that currently it's not good background for taking the long position based on the price action that we see. And uh, I'm not excluding the chance that we will get this patch to be completed. So that's our view currently on the euro.